Hello, my name is Steve Locke. Today we're going to learn how to frame a roof with no overhangs. On a pole building roof system, there's trusses and purlins. Trusses on a pole building are attached to the posts. Purlins are installed on top of the trusses, horizontally from truss to truss. Always review your plans before starting a phase of work. The first step is to lay out the trusses by running a tape on the top quarter truss marking out where the purlin blocks will be installed. The purlin blocks are what go between the trusses that support the purlins. On roofs, when purlins are 24 inches on center, you'll want to mark your first block at 22 and a half inches from the bottom end of the truss. The top purlin block is to be four to five inches from the peak. This will make the top two purlins closer than 24 inches. Draw a line on the side of the truss where you marked it out. That line will be used for setting your blocks later. The next step you'll wanna do is cut up your purlin blocks. The purlin blocks are generally 10 to 10 and a half inches. You'll want to add up all the blocks you need and pre-cut them all at one time. You'll want to install blocking on the poles for your trusses to rest on. Generally, it's about 16 inches from the ground where you want those set. You'll set the gable truss first. That's the truss on the end. There'll be horizontal boards on the gable trusses. When you set the gable truss, you'll notice that there's metal plates on the horizontal boards. Make sure the metal plates are facing the inside. If the building has two by six purlins, you'll want to set the interior trusses five and a half inches lower. If it was two by eight purlins, you would lower those interior trusses seven and a half inches lower. When setting the truss, you'll want to make sure the end of the truss is flush with the outside of the post. You'll want to use screws to secure the truss. This will make it easy to release it later when you're ready to raise it. Once the gable truss is set, you want to make sure that the truss is level at the peak. Depending on the size of your building, you may want to run a brace at the peak. After the truss is braced, you'll want to run a string from the peak down to the bottom of the truss, which is called the heel. This string will enable you to confirm that the truss is straight. After setting both your interior trusses around one pole, you're ready to install the purlin blocks. When installing the block, make the bottom of the block flush with the bottom of the top cord of the truss. Before nailing the block, make sure the side of the block is on the line. Place three nails in the side of the truss into the block. Before nailing the other truss into the block, put a speed square to make sure that the block is square to the truss. Proceed with nailing. It is very important that the bottom cord of the truss is straight. You'll want to run a string from post to post on the side of the truss. After the string is installed, you'll want to add a block at each end of the truss so the string stays off the truss an inch and a half. You will install rat runs from truss to truss. You'll nail the rat run to the truss in the middle, maintaining the inch and a half space. You will install a continuous board at the bottom cord from post to post. 
start the board approximately a foot off the post on both sides. When installing the purlins, you start at the gable end. When laying out the gable truss for your purlins, you need to measure on the bottom of the top cord for your first purlin. And that's because your gable truss is five and a half inches higher. You'll back nail through the end truss into the purlin. When nailing the purlins to the interior trusses, you install three nails through the purlin into the block and one nail on an angle through the purlin into the top of the truss. After your purlins are installed, you'll come back through and install hangers on the inside of the truss around the purlin. Now that your roof is framed, you're ready to raise the roof. If you're interested in purchasing a kit, more tutorials, or general information, visit our website